Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by factoring. So the very first thing we want to do is we have to remove this fraction and we can see at the denominator we have twos. So that means we're going to multiply by two across the board with each and every term as you can see over here. So this becomes 2 times 5 is 10x square and this 2 and 2 they cancel out we got minus 17x and likewise this 2 and 2 cancel out plus 3 equal to 0. So we no longer have a fraction. Now we're going to go ahead and take care of it. Now let's go ahead and find the factors first. I want you to put down two parentheses somewhere here as you can see over here. Now since the leading coefficient is not 1 it is 10 so you have to be a little bit careful. I want you to just put down this part only don't worry about this exponent. I want you to put down 10x right up here and 10x right up here as well. The next thing I want you to just multiply this 10 and 3 on this side at the both ends multiply them out. So 10 times 3 becomes 30. Now we want to see some kind of factors if you break them down they should give us if you add them that's going to give us 17 and the possible factors are 15 times 2 isn't it 15 and 2 is going to give us uh, 17 and if you want to put a negative sign we're going to put negative and negative as well so negative 15 times negative 2 is positive 30 so i'm going to go ahead and put down negative 15 right up here and negative 2 right here now i want you to look at uh, this the very first parentheses look at these numbers 10 and 15. I want you to find the greatest common factor GCF that means the the biggest number that can divide into both of these numbers at the same time and that number is of course going to be 5 isn't it? I want you to divide by 5 and likewise in the second parentheses look for the biggest number that divides into 10 and 2 at the same time and that's going to be 2. All right we got this thing and now so that's going to become 5 goes into 10 2 times so 2x minus 3 equals to 5x minus 1. So thus our complete factors turns out to be 2x minus 3 times 5x minus 1 as you can see over here. And now in this next step we are going to go ahead and solve for x. And here are the factors that we figured out in our previous step and we are going to set it equal to 0. And now we're going to split them up. I'm going to say 2x minus 3 equal to 0 and 5x minus 1 equal to 0. Let's go ahead and solve for x. I want you to move this negative 3 on the other side becomes positive 3 divide both side by 2 so x turns out to be 3 over 2 as one of our solutions let's do the same thing on this side move this negative 1 on this other side becomes positive 1 and divide both sides by 5 so this cancels out 5 and 5 so x equal to 1 over 5 is another solution and thus our solution set turns out to be a 3 over 2 and the other solution is a 1 fifth and that's our answer thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos